OBS, Stream Labs. Those are the first two things that come to mind when you're talking about live streaming software. But what if I told you there was another software out there that combined a lot of the really nice features from OBS and Stream Labs all in one package? And that is Prism Live Studio recording and streaming software. And that is the sponsor for today's video. We're going to jump in this. We're going to install it, tell you all about it and help it get it set up for your live streaming and for your recording as well. All right. So the first thing we need to do is go to the Prism Live website and download the software. So let's go over there real quick. So here we are on the prismlive.com website. We have two download links. One is for the Prism Live Studio. The other is for the Prism Live Prism Lens. So let's go download the Windows version, which is what I have. Uh, it's also available for Mac OS as well. So right, let's just go ahead and download it. Once it downloads, we'll go ahead and through the setup process. Go ahead and download the Prism Lens as well. So let's download that also. So once those two get downloaded, we'll go through the installation process for both of those and get them set up. That way we can go through the process of setting up our stream inside our Prism Live Studio. So once you hit that install button, it's going to go through it very rapidly. Then we're going to hit start and it should load up our software. It's going to ask us to allow access to this software. So let's hit allow. Then it's going to give you the different options to choose between on how you want to log into the Prism Live Studio. You can use Facebook, Google, Twitch, but Navier, Line, or Watch Facebook. So let's use Twitch. And it's going to ask access to that. So you type in your username. Okay, so once you get it installed, you are greeted with the Prism Live Studio. It says hello, so give us 76 try out these new effects. So let's just close that for a minute. So once you actually get it installed, this is what it looks like. Pretty much your standard streaming software or live streaming software. We've got our chat box here. We can actually dock this one. So let's do that. Drag and drop it wherever you want to, which is pretty nice. Let me widen it out just a little bit. And we have our studio mode right here. So let's turn that off. So now we pretty much have a blank canvas, just like you would inside of any other live streaming software. We got scenes down here at the bottom we can adjust. So. We've got all different options of display method. Let's go switch that to text, make it a little bit simpler. That way it uses a little bit less resources as well. And now we're just pretty much sitting at a blank scene and we're going to create our own first source right here. So just like you would in OBS or stream labs, gives you a bunch of different options as well. You can use a prism lens as well, which will allow you to remove backgrounds. It'll allow you to add backgrounds to whatever your camera is. You can decorate your screen with different options as well. But first things first, let's go ahead and find us a camera source in here. In this case, video capture device. Let's click OK, video capture device. Do not want to use that. Elgato face cam, let's activate it. And there's our Elgato face cam. And there I am inside of Prism Live Studio. So that is going to be our first scene right there. Let's look at these other options. We have some other options on the side as well. We can use it to start a virtual camera. We can use a Prism lens to actually adjust and add features to our live stream as well. Then we have some other really nice options down here also. We have our drawing mode. I really like this drawing mode. Uh, when I stream Clash of Clans, this so would actually allow you to draw live on stream. It gives you an eraser as well, just by clicking on there and getting rid of it. Boom, boom. Just like so. I really wish I would have had Prism Live Studio back then. Then we have another feature as well that allows us to add Prism stickers. So let's just drag it over there so you can see it. Let's go to all. And let's just say we want to add a sticker to our live stream. Just by clicking on it, it will add that sticker right there inside of our live stream. Basically it's just a, another source inside our prism. So let's just delete that real quick. We can close that off. Then we got another option as well to add Giphy stickers as well. We can add a pumpkin if we wanted to. So some really nice things that we can do to liven up our stream just by simply, you know, clicking on these things and adding them automatically as a source to our live stream window. We can also add music to our live stream as well. 
just by clicking on the little music icon and it gives us an ad source. So let's go ahead and add a source music playlist, click okay. And then what you can do is add pre-installed music that comes with the prism live studio. So let's just go back there real quick. Let's go to add music, add prism free music. There's not an extreme amount of music that can be added, but it does have some really nice ones you can add. So we can go to playful, we can go to action, and it gives us a menu of all the songs that are available. We have seasonal as well. So I'm assuming for like Christmas or uh, in this case, yes, Christmas, sentimental, so different songs that we can add. So let's just say we want to add a song, we can click okay. Okay, so now we've got our song added to our music playlist. If you notice right here, we can look through the audio mixer and there is an option for music playlist. And what this does, it separates the music playlist from the rest of the audio. So if we want to monitor it, that way we hear it as well while it's playing, we can. But if we don't want to hear it and only want the stream to hear it, we can toggle that switch right there and it will actually turn off monitoring for us and we will not be able to hear the music itself but the stream will still be able to hear the music. But let's just turn it back on for right now. Bring that window back forward to the front. And once we click play, it starts playing the music. And if you notice right here, we can actually turn this down all the way down and we don't hear anything. Turn it all the way back up as loud as we want to. So by adjusting the volume right here through the audio mixer, it will determine what the stream hears versus what desktop audio is as well. So we've got desktop audio muted. And now what's playing from the music playlist will come through our desktop audio and this will allow the stream to hear it as well. So in the event that we don't keep our music real low while we're playing a game, we can adjust that volume slider for the music playlist. That way they'll still be able to hear some of the music but not quite as loud and still hear the game as well. One great feature about Prism Live Studio is that it makes it so simple to set up a multi-stream. Now that Twitch allows you to stream to multiple platforms, it is so easy to set up. So let's go to Twitch. We are actually going to log into our Twitch right here, just like you normally would. So type in your username and password and then log into Twitch just like you normally would. So let's go ahead and do that. So once you get logged in, you're going to just authorize it like you normally would. And now we are connected to Twitch right there. Let me go ahead and fix this real quick. Remind me later. So now we have our Twitch chat that is available to us while we are live streaming. We can also add another channel to this as well. So any event that you wanna to stream to multiple channels, let's go ahead and add channel. I'm gonna ask you what channel you wanna add. So let's go add to YouTube. And we're gonna choose our YouTube channel to log into. We're going to allow it. And now we have multiple ones that we can actually stream to by just logging into both of those. In the event that you don't want to stream to multiple platforms, it's very simple just by mousing over it, turn off channel info. And now we are just going to be streaming to just Twitch. You also need to set up your streaming preferences as well. So if you look down here at the bottom on the right hand side, there is a little gear. It will pop up a window. You can choose output. Twitch automatic recommended. You can change your bit rate. There are audio options. I really don't like choosing default. So let's just go speakers, microphone. We're going to choose our Elgato microphone wave XLR, our video option as well. Let's choose our output. So 1080p. If you want to stream at 720p, 1080p, 60 FPS, just like you normally would in any other streaming software for our instance, we're going to go ahead and set it to 60 FPS. And we're going to click apply. Okay. So now we have our video settings record. And if you notice down here in the bottom left hand corner, it says that we will be streaming at 1920 by 1080 at 60 FPS. And we're only using 0.2% of our CPU for this streaming software. So now that we've decided to stream to multiple platforms, we have chat options for Twitch. And we have chat options for YouTube. And then what we can do is click on all, add Prism chat source, and it will automatically add an overlay to our live stream. We can pick out how it wanted to look. The font size, so let's just say for this one, let's just say we want to do that. 
And now we have a very simple chat overlay that will display both chats on our stream for us. I know Twitch doesn't want you to do this, but this is an option that you have by streaming to multiple platforms such as YouTube or Twitch as well. Uh, another great feature about Prism Live Studio is the fact that if you had overlays set up already inside of OBS, if you export them from OBS to a JSON file, you can actually import all of your overlays into Prism by just a simple few clicks. So let's go to scene collection. Let's go to import. We're gonna go to desktop because that's where I saved it at. And there is Halloween 2. And it's going to install all of our overlays inside our Prism Live Studio with just a simple click of a button. So now I can do full cam. And all of my settings and overlays are now inside of Prism Live Studio. The so main game, let's go here. And there we go, be right back scene. And all of that, very simple, with just a simple click and a touch of a button. And we have everything installed from OBS inside our Prism Live Studio now. So with just a few simple clicks, we now have all of our overlays set up and installed inside our Prism Live Studio. So let me go back to our other ones. We can go back to Untitled. And now we can easily switch between what our old overlays were we had just previously set up to our new overlays, which were the Halloween layout. And there we go, that simple on how to set up and install Prism Live Studio. So now that you've got everything set up and you want to go live on any of your platforms, you're gonna go up here. You're gonna tap that little live information button. It's gonna allow you to adjust the title of your stream, go live notification, all the information associated with that stream. And then you can go right here to YouTube in this case right here, you can actually upload a thumbnail or take a photo. You can title your broadcast, change everything that needs to be set up. You can determine the stream latency, normal low or ultra low. Is it made for kids? And then once you get ready, you're going to hit go live. It's going to ask you to confirm those settings. Go through them again. You're going to hit next. And you're going to hit next again. And there we go right there. And just by simply a few buttons, it allows you to set up your live stream information very easily. There are just so many features inside of Prism Live Studio that if I tried to cover them all today, it would make this video over an hour long. So if you want to see some more advanced features in a follow-up video, let me know down in the comment section below and we'll try to cover them as well. Also, there is a Prism Live Studio app that is for mobile and I will be doing a video about it as well. So for all of those out there who stream from mobile, they have a mobile app that works great as well. And not only that, it offers so many great features inside of it, and we'll be covering those also. But anyway, if you enjoy this video, if you like the Prism Live Studio, I'll leave links down in the description below. If you wanna check it out, download it, try it out for yourself. I'll be honest with you, you'll actually really enjoy the simplicity our Prism Live Studio. But until next time, much love, peace out, and we'll see you in the next one.